Okay, so today we're going to learn how to microwave ramen noodles. Um, I decided to do it my own way and on a previous uh, microwave I've learned how to cook it. So now I'm going to show you what you need. Uh, I'm in the middle of some dishes at 2 in the morning. Uh, I'm going to hit the bed about uh, 5.30. So here's what we're going to need. We need a set of tongs. A bowl. It's a impending piece of plastic. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is move that there. Opening up. I in recent years have not, you know, broken them up. Pack it on the side. We need that for later. Put the and then put that one in. And we're gonna do the same thing for this one. Open it up. Noodle block out of it. I put the put on top of this one for now. The other beef pack it out. Put this one in. Okay. Here's how you do it. Take your first block, put it in there. Take that beef pack down because we're going to open it like this. We'll have to get it straight. Open this over here. Put it on top of the noodle block like the show. It's kind of like we're cooking already, but with no oil in the water. With this meal, we're going to let the microwave do our cooking for us. There's still a tiny bit in there, but I uh, guess I'll finish that off. And then take the next block, put on top of it almost evenly. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did for the first one. Shake it, shake it, let all the contents go over here so that way when you're starting to rip it, a little bit of the flavoring isn't going to come out of it. It's not going to be perfect every time you do it. I mean, you're going to have patches and clumps like I just accidentally did there. Yeah. And now we take it over to the sink. I know you really can't see it that well. Here's our orange bowl right here. Now, if 
fuck I'm gonna put the the ceiling light on. Much better. And then I can't you know. I'll try to attempt to do it with the uh, and so just gonna slowly with the beef or chicken. I prefer chicken. And I want the beef flavoring just simmer right into the uh, the noodle block. We're gonna get it to a point where uh, the noodles are, the water is just in a perfect spot so that the the noodles, the noodle blocks are almost kind of floating, but like slightly. Get to the reason why we need the tongs. Put that in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna microwave it for four minutes. So that way that way it can start cooking. And then we we're gonna take it out, we're gonna flip it using the tongs um, this is really sort of easy but I don't think it's something anybody's ever tried to do or attempted to do um, this is top ramen doesn't technically say on the package do not microwave. But I found out it tastes good microwave as well. This is the first time I'm actually... The last time I used it on uh, the same type of microwave, we actually had to switch microwaves. This is a Christmas present 2013 for the family. Um, I did it a three minute rotation and then I flipped the noodle blocks over and did another three minutes. So here I'm doing it the full time. Now because of the radiation of the microwave I'm trying to you know, distance my camera as far away from it as possible so that way it doesn't interfere with the cooking process. If that makes any sense we're going to throw these away. Yeah, a lot of... I'm not doing a what's in my trash anymore. That that was... That was random enough. That was random enough of a video, so... I don't want to make it a series, but... That's why I haven't, you know... Done a what's, what's in my trash video. Uh, anyway... Got about a minute and a half left. One thirty-seven. Uh, look at all the dishes I gotta get to already. Skillet. Roasting pan which still hasn't been cleaned since uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Two pots, or well, three pots. There's a pot in here. Y'all colander. That. And this. So it's been clean. Uh, not really much. Food stamps have been cut. Uh, this mom's tin roof. As some of you know, I can't have tin roof because it has peanuts in it. 
definitely Roger Kapinik. So, for all you peanut lovers out there, eat more peanuts. That way, I can't get my hands on them. Not that I would want to, anyway. Okay, 30 seconds left. I'm just rambling on, just because, you know, because of the time. 20 seconds left. I'm gonna try to do this as, uh, I don't know what kind of angle I can. Like I'm trying new things with it. Okay, so I take it out. I use our tongs here to flip. I'm gonna do it the other way. Flip both of them. And make sure the bottom one is now on the top. Put it back in for another four minutes. 